Hello and welcome to this edition of Ideal Surgeries for the Intellectually Stunted. In today's episode, we will be learning more about active and how it will make you more active. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, active is an acrobat that stands for anterior cervical disectomy and fusion. The end is silent. This process is defined as removing a herniated or degenerated disc from the spine, usually because it squeezes down on the nerves there and sends pain to the arms and or legs. It's kind of like when you make a pizza and some of the sauce gets outside the crust and leaves a black lump of goop on your pan. Except you can still eat the pizza and with your neck your body just hurts like a motherfucker. Now that we've explained the purpose of this procedure, let's see it in action, shall we? We start by injecting enough heroin into the bloodstream to turn the patient into Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction. Then we make a small incision in the front side of the neck. After cutting through the meat to get to the spine, we then mark the disc we plan to remove with the toothpick holding the sandwich one of the interns planned on having for lunch that day. What uh oh Looks like someone drank cherry Kool-Aid after midnight. We're going to need a couple of shoehorns to hold this hole open for the next part. To help pull your neck apart to keep your spine from jenga all over the place, we drill in some backward dinosaur spines. That may sound scary, but don't worry, we make up for that by blowing pot smoke into your throat. I bet you'll be having the jello munchies when you wake up, won't you? Once the patient becomes chill after 420 blazing it, it's time to get rid of that pesky disc. <laughs> now that the disc has been gently and carefully removed, we ensure optimal comfort by removing any extra gunk with a pair of garden shears. It's time now to see how big we need to make your replacement graft. We're extra careful during this process. Once we determine a size for it, we can now insert the replacement graft, which will eventually meld with the bones and tissue surrounding it. Ain't science fascinating? This guy's graft is made out of titanium. He must be JP from Grandma's Boy. Now that the disc is fitted in, we can unscrew those pins out and fill the holes with Ready Whip. Finally, let's suture up your neck. And you did it! You've just experienced active! You're lucky too, because only two people have been known to survive this procedure, male and female patients. <laughs> now, before we can send you back into the world, there are some things you should refrain from doing for a while. This includes, but aren't limited to, swimming. Biking, drinking, driving, drinking while driving, drunken while droving, dunking while drove, Dunkin' Donuts, drunken donuts, and horse. <laughs>